So in this assignment, you're going to create a castle. The point of this assignment is to actually take and practice drawing on different surfaces, practice drawing with different tools, and um, trying to make something that you don't have specific instructions for. So I'm going to click the OK button here and make a new document called Castle. And the first thing I'm going to do is, since I want to build from the ground up, I'm going to right click on top. I'm going to go View Normal 2. I'm going to right click and do new sketch. Remember, anytime you start anything brand new in this program, you need to do right click normal two, right click new sketch. I'm going to choose the center square. I'm going to draw that rectangle out into a square on the page. And then I need to make sure that I take and dimension everything. Everything in this program needs to be fully defined before you move on to the next piece. And I'll know it's fully defined when the lines that I see here are black. Right now they're blue and I need it to be black. So I'm going to click that dimension tool. I'm going to add a dimension on the right hand side of 100. And every square or rectangle has a length and a width. So I've got my width there. And now I'm going to do my length. I'm going to put that in there, 100 as well. Now that I have both an anchor and all the proper dimensions, you'll notice that all my lines have turned black. I want to make sure that that's the case before I move on and do the next piece, which is the extrude button. So I'm going to click that extrude button. I'm going to rotate a little so you can see what I'm doing with it. I'm going to make this 45. Okay, That's going to bring that piece out. I'm going to hit the check mark. This is going to become the outer wall of my castle. So since it's a wall, I need to cut out the courtyard area in the middle. So I'm going to right click on that surface, this one right here. I'm not going to use the planes on the side. I'm going to right click on this surface. I'm going to go to view normal two. It's going to flatten that surface out for me. I'm going to right click on that same surface again and do new sketch. And then I'm going to draw a second square. This one's smaller than the first. So I'm going to drag it out. Once again, I need all my lines to be black before I move on, so I need some dimensions here. I've got it anchored to the middle, but I need to take and make it um, yeah, sized correctly. So I'm going to put a 90 on that side and 90 on this side. Now all my lines are black. I'm ready to go. I'm going to come back over to that same extrude tool, only this time I'm going to do remove. So I'm going to click the remove button, and I'm going to switch from blind to through all. So it cuts all the way through to the bottom of my object. Hit my check mark, and now we have my outer wall. Okay. So I can right click on this surface. Say I want to put like one of those circular turrets up here on the corner. I'm going to right click on that surface right there. Notice I'm not on the corners, I'm on the surface in between. I'm going to go view normal too. Right click, new sketch. Always start with those same two things view normal two, new sketch. I want to put my circle in. Now I'm going to have to figure out a place to anchor this. So I can either anchor off this inner corner or outer corner. I'm going to choose the inner corner. I'm going to drag out a circle. It's blue. So that means I have an anchor, but I don't have a dimension. So I'm going to grab my dimension. I'm going to put it on here. And I'm going to make it an even 35 in diameter. Okay. Rotate around a little bit. My line is black. It's ready to go. So I'm going to switch my extrude piece here. I'm going to take and go blind is fine. I'm going to make it go 35. Again, same as so it's the same height as it is um, the same um, diameter. Now you'll notice that as I did that, it goes in the direction of the arrow that's on that page. So I can kind of figure out exactly how it's going to go. So now I've got a turret that's built on there. I'm going to hit my check mark to set it. Okay. And then to put a roof on, I'm going to take and do right click normal two because I want to put it on the top of this object. So right click. Normal 2, right click, new sketch. I'm going to do a circle, and I'm going to find the center of this one. So I've got an anchor point. I'm going to make this one slightly bigger than the last one. So the last one was 35. I'm going to make this one 43. So that's a little bit bigger. Okay. My line is black. Okay. Notice I'm drawing on that top surface there. I'm going to use my extrude tool again. And then this time, I'm going to make this one about 25 tall. Okay, I hit my check mark and set it. And then I'm going to come back to my fillet tool or my chamfer tool, excuse me. I'm going to click on that edge and I want a chamfer to be a big one. So I'm going to do 20, which is going to take and give me a roof. Now you can take and build any kind of castle that you want. I'm not particularly um, 
what I really want you to do is just to practice building things, putting um, shapes on surfaces, et cetera. That's really what I want you to do is just try building something that you don't have specific instructions for. Try and make what you see in your mind. It can be set up any way you want. Um, it could be a, a copy of a real castle if you'd like, as long as it's not too complex. You're going to turn this in in a couple of days. So if you're trying to build new Schwanstein, you won't be able to take and get it to, you won't get it done in time. So you need something on a little bit on the simpler side. Um, you can be really creative if you'd like. Um, so you could try and do a Chinese pagoda. I've seen Lord Farquaad's castle. Um, if you do a 14th century European castle, kind of like I have started here, those are easy because they're very similar to the um, the blocks that you used as a kid. Um, they do not have to follow the laws of physics. So you can have things stacked in all kinds of precarious ways if you'd like to. Um, but at this point, I just want you to go ahead and get started. I'll show you a few more tools over the next couple of days of things that you can try, but this will get you going.